What's up everybody, it's Nick Lumi and then welcome to my channel Looking at your beautiful faces, I know Well, everything is really moving fine This video is a tutorial video and then we'll be working through A step by step process of how to Model and then run analysis with Pro Tools Structure and this video is meant for the beginners and then I just want you to subscribe to my channel and then click on the notification bell so that whenever I post new tutorials you get notified and then just give this video a thumbs up button so that is all love you guys to double click on the software after the installation and then let's do it and then have this Pro Tools Structure 2018 pops up and then it's, it's just loading, let's just give it that. So the next thing is just to close this. And then um, the top thing is to decide the name you wanna save um, the project with. So here we click on the new project. So it's so advisable to go with the name of the client. Like, um, let me just go with Peter, P-E-T-E-R, and then you don't make use of space by a portal structure doesn't allow you to do that so i would advise you to go with underscore maybe portal nick and then click ok so i don't know the kind of um, code you go with maybe the euro code maybe malaysia ec2 so but here we go with bs8110 so i would advise you to just make use of the comment section below to tell me anything you use there anything you use so just click on i don't know the code you use and um, click on import so uh, the, this, is, this is the basic interface this is the first thing you see after launching the photo structure and then the next thing you have to do is to insert the grid so just come to this axis generator click on it and then um, this thing pops up and then just click anywhere on the screen and then what we want to do is to create a grid line with um, 2000. I'm um, sorry, let me just let's just do it again. Click this and then click anyway. So let's just change this 5 to, to 2, but let's just change it to 3. Okay, let's just change it to 3 and then um, let's come here and then um, change it to 3 close it and change it to three that means we are creating a grid line of um two by two let's just go with three by three so anyone want to use the after creating it you understand what i'm trying to say so just click on ok and then the axis will create itself so this is what we're trying to create now so we have the grid line one two three that means from grid line one to two we have it to be three meter three meter and perimeter so the next thing we have to do is to decide the colon we're going to use and then come to the colon section here click on the colon then you have um this option pops up and then just determine the size of your colon but yeah i'm just going to with 2 to 5 by 2 to 5 as the b1 and b2 so 2 to 5 and then um, 2 to 5 so i can just um Click the axis intersection where we actually want to put the colons. So we're just putting the colons mainly A and A, A and A and A. So that is it. So simple, but we're not done. And then the next thing we want to do is to click on the B, and um, the B is actually the breadth of. The beam and then um, the H is actually the height of the beam in conjunction with our slab. So we're just making the B to be 2 to 5 and then we're making the H board to be 450. And then we can just you can see it snaps to the colon and then click on it and then come to the other side and click on it. So that means we're creating a beam along the side. So from here also we want to create a beam here. And then we're gonna create a beam here also. And then we're gonna create a beam here. And then you press an escape to opt out of that point we just stopped. And then click on another point and then continue. We're gonna create a beam there. And then click on escape again. Then we just continue it. And then click on escape twice to opt out of the beams command or whatever. So the next one is to create a slab. So click on the slab and um 
the height of the slab let's just go with 150 or because of the how big this pan is let's just go with 175 so 175 and then the concrete is 25 okay and then we go to the load the dead loaders go with two and then the impose load just let's click on the impose load and then we just go to yeah general domestic this is for the general domestic use and then we come to you see it shows that thing it snaps so just click on it and then click on it so and then you can just press the escape to opt out of this and then the next thing we do is to insert our strip here so slap strip and then here we just need to understand a basic thing here here we go with um the analytical strip and then um, this from bob and then um, this bob means from beam to beam this means from slab and then um, this means from cantilever that means if we were starting from a slab we click this and then um, if we are ending on a beam we click that but since we are starting from a beam and ending on a beam then we click this so from here and then click on your control to make this straight so you just click that so automatically um, product structure saves the project but um, it is so advisable to, to press ctrl s just for the shortcut to save i actually have a bunch of tutorials on how i make use of product structure you can just go to my channel and um, just check it and go and glance so let's just wait to um, this thing saves the project I think it's taking too long time to see okay that is the first step and then just change it to Y and then since we're starting on a beam and ending on a beam also we just have to start from here to um, this other side and click on control to make the polar line to be straight and click it so we we'll come here to and um, click control to make the polar line straight and then click here also and then um, boom so that is it so this is the first step of modeling with photo structure so maybe the the, the, the structure is going to um, a kind of two-story so the first thing we have to do is to come to the story menu and then maybe we want to install story or generate story or, but the first thing we have to do is to to let's check is it yeah generate a story and then um, it's going to two so let's just click on two and keyboard and um press okay and then um, let's click on yes and then the next thing we just have to do is to um come here and then um, go to generate story okay only the populated stories can be divine now this is what we have to do. just go back to your level one and then um, click on generate stories so that means we're generating from story one to story two but we're not actually going with a slab or anything so we're just going with the colons and the beams so click this so we have to off all this we're not going with slabs and all other things so just click ok and then just close it so we can just check through the 3d model here let's go to the 3d view and um wow here is our model so great and um it's just uh, looking good so thanks you guys for watching this tutorial the second tutorial will be on how i run my analysis it's just a basic tutorial now to run basic analysis using product structure how to identify the reinforcement that is required in your column your slabs and um, your beams so i would i want you to click on the subscribe button just click on the subscribe button it makes me feel great and then um, it keeps you learning all and then make sure you click on the thumbs up button and then just click on the notification bell so that you see a um, message on my latest tutorials like that um, just thank you for watching like Thank you for watching. It's okay. Thank you for watching.